Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Google Play Store on Windows 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. It's better to have Windows 11 version 22H2 but it should also work on older versions and I'm going to show you two methods first one is the easy method and the second one is a bit complicated but you will get the latest version of WSA with more features. You need to go into your system settings and then go to privacy and enable the developer mode option. Once that's done, now you need to right click on your start menu and open task manager. And inside the task manager, you need to go to resources and check if the CPU virtualization is enabled. And if it is not enabled, then you need to go into your BIOS settings and enable the CPU virtualization technology. It's different from motherboard to motherboard, so please look up for your guide online. Now open Windows Search and search for turn Windows features on or off. And after that, you need to tick Virtual Machine Platform, Windows Hypervisor, and also make sure that the Windows subsystem for Linux is checked and after that you need to restart your computer to make any changes so I'm just going to quickly restart my computer and I'll be right back so this is the first and easy method so for this you just have to download the Google Play Store WSA zip file from the link in the description box below and extract it After that go inside the folder and open setup underscore x64 as administrator. Now once this process is complete now you will see that WSA is installed on your system. Now if you don't see it here you can search for Windows subsystem for Android and open it. Now once it is opened you need to enable developer options and you need to click manage developer settings and click on continue. Now if you wait for a while you'll see that Google Play Store has been installed on your system. Also make sure to leave this developer mode on as well. Now if you open your list of applications you will see that Google Play Store has been installed on your system and now it will behave as a native Windows 11 app. You can install Android applications from Google Play Store. Now you need to sign in to your Google account and you will be able to install applications from Google Play Store. You can install your favorite applications but I don't recommend you to install games because it won't work very well. So this is it for method 1 quick and easy. Now I'm going to show you the second method which is a little bit complicated but it works best and it has better compatibility. So for this you need to open Microsoft Store and download any Linux distribution. I'm going to download Ubuntu. So once Ubuntu is installed, now open your web browser and search for WSL kernel update. Click on this link and download the WSL kernel update and install it. After that open another tab and search for Magisk WSA and then click on the link which says magisk wsa local click on the green button and copy the github link and then open ubuntu and type git clone and press the github link
Now once it's done, type ls to see the list of your directories and now you will see this magisk on wsa local. Now you need to change directory to magisk wsa local. Now if you scroll down on the github page, you will see the install instructions. So it says to change your directory to the scripts folder and then execute the run.sh file. So let's do that. So this is gonna take a while depending on your computer speed and your internet. So I'm just going to fast forward this part. Now you'll see a prompt just press tab and select ok again press tab and select ok again press tab and select ok select yes and then for g apps press tab and select ok If you don't like Amazon App Store then you can select no. If you want root access then you can leave the default option and then press tab and select ok. Select yes for compression and choose the first option zip by pressing spacebar and then press tab and select ok. Now generating zip file should also take some time so I'm just going to cut this part as well. So once it's done, you need to now go to into your WSL and then go to your Ubuntu directory. So if you don't see Linux on your file manager, then you can also go into the network location and you will find it there. And once you are inside the Linux directory, you need to go into your Ubuntu directory and then go into your home folder. And now you will see this magisk on WSL folder, go into that folder and go into the output folder and copy the zip file and then you can paste the zip file on your desktop or any drives like D drive now extract the zip file and go inside the extracted folder Click on the location or address bar and copy the path of this directory and then you need to search for PowerShell and open PowerShell as administrator and then you need to type cd and then paste the path. Now if you open github page again you will see the script to install the play store so just copy this and paste it on your powershell now it should automatically open play store once it's done now you just you need to sign into your Google account to be able to install apps. Now press enter in the PowerShell to exit the PowerShell.
now if you open the list of applications you will see google play store now open google play store and you can start downloading your favorite android apps and start using them for example let me download this facebook app and install it and please keep in mind that you cannot play heavy games like pubg and if you want to play those games then i recommend you to install tencent gaming emulator or any other android emulator to play rather than using wsa but you can play small lightweight games in wsa with key mapping in the wsa settings so finally facebook is installed and you can see this app in the list of your applications in windows 11 and it also functions and behaves like your windows 11 app You can maximize, resize and drag your applications just like your Windows 11 apps. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.